<laughs> Hello, everybody, and welcome back to the Charnel House Trilogy. Let's go ahead and resume. Looks like we're going to go walk, knock on Lang's door, find out that he's dead. No doubt. No response. Can I just open the door? It's locked. Well, okay. Locked. I should go see if Lydia's okay. All right. Well, that's probably going to end up with some sort of horrible thing, too. But we'll find out. Can we... Let's look at the painting again. Can I... Let's... Nah. Okay, I don't want to apparently burn it. Nah. Cards, money... Nah. Okay, well, it looks like I still can't do anything with the painting, even though there is, like, some sort of bubbling or something on the painting, it said. Huh. It's locked. Knock Lydia? on the door. You in there? Lydia? Shit. I need to get the door open somehow. Uh... Nothing's burning just now. The... Uh, they sound... They sound... Yeah. No. They sound busy. I won't disturb them. Alright, can we go in this door? Oh, there's a guy in here. Uh, Rob? Alex, hello. You came. They said you would. Who are they? You promised you'd call. What is you happening? You never called. Why didn't you call, Alex? Rob, it's the middle of the night. Wait, what the fuck? Did you follow me here? Why are you on the goddamn train? Oh, Alex, come on. I've always been there for you, haven't I? Ah, oh, that's when creepy. When left you, when your dad died, when you were getting those threatening phone calls. Oh, God. I forgot about that. Exactly. So why wouldn't I be here now when you need me again? So he's a figment of your imagination? You're right. Okay, fuck it. Pretty sure I've passed out and I'm dreaming this, but whatever. I'll run with it. Why do I need you right now? The earth crawls, Alex. The sepulchre thunders towards its destination, like worms burrowing through the soil. That's the creepy. Skies, the predator swoops. Zap. Feast upon the eyes of God. Darkness. Silence. All right. His portrait got really creepy. Is the night. Rob, you're scaring me. Well, it is kind of creepy. I'm sorry. I'm getting caught up in the moment. I should go back to my compartment. Come and find me there when you're done with the girl. Lydia, I never told you about her. Slice the girl away, Alex. Look at her inside. Put a belly. Find the key. Alright, that's disturbing. What the fuck? What the well, fuck well, yeah. is going on here? <laughs> this is some fucked up, trippy nightmare shit. Yeah, a little bit. There's something on the table. Is it a knife? Yeah, it's a knife. Of course it's a knife. I might need this. All right. Well, that's always a good thing. Why has it got blood on it? It looks recently used. Oh, there's blood on it. Mm, sure. My train tickets. Why do I have the train tickets still? Shouldn't Don have taken the tickets from me? Unless Don isn't real. I'm not hungry. All right, you're not hungry. Okay, well, we'll head back. I guess we can try to go through the door now? Get to her? Maybe. Huh. It's locked. Uh, can we use the knife? Nah. Uh, oh, wait. Let's go to the painting. Let's use the knife on the painting. Uh... Hmm. There's something here. Maybe that's what he meant by cutting it. Oh! There's a key here. It says it's the key to 2A. Interesting. 2A is right next to they me. Sound Alright, let's try to go into 2A with the key. Oh, righty then. Hey. Hey, Alex. Hey, birthday girl. Where'd you get to? Um. Uh, uh, Sophia? Fuck. 
Jesus, Sophia, it is not my birthday. Why are you here? Hey, you invited us, silly. Already drunk, I see. Okay, this is like really some I've creepy, trippy had crap. One Bloody Mary. Gavin was looking for you. Oh, God. What? Gavin's here? Sure. Why wouldn't he be? Pretty sure I saw you with your hands down his pants earlier, so you know. I'm surprised you've forgotten. Oh, great. Carly, too. Fuck this. Gavin is not here. You're not here. None of this is here. None of this is real. I'm on a fucking train, for God's sake. That's a good point. Oh, Alex, chill. Have you taken something? I say it. Don't worry about it. Alex is just being a weird hysterical self. Fuck off, Carly. You don't need to be rude to Alex on her birthday. She's being rude to us. She's just stressed, aren't you, babe? Yes, I'm stressed. I need to get to the bottom of this. Yeah, something weird's going on. Sophia, can I talk to you for a second? Sure. What's up? Alone. I, I can't leave, really. Carly's a bit drunk and you know how she gets. Fuck off. I heard that. We're all friends here, Alex. You can say anything. Okay, okay, look. Where are we? Your apartment, dickhead. Where else? No, we're on a train. We're on a train, oh, motherfucker. And don't you ever forget it. You need Not a boat, or on a train. This will all go smoother if you just kick back and accept it. Um. Hey, Gavin was around earlier. Why don't you go find him? Gavin and I broke up months ago. I don't want to see him. Alex, honey, what are you talking about? We broke up on... on my birthday. It's your birthday today. The big 25, or is it 26? 27. Definitely. Look at her. She's no spring chicken. What a I'm bitch. Club a, Alex. Gonna take a hit? Snort a line? Uh -huh. Shoot up? Got in a blaze of fucking glory? Throw it all away? Yeah, sure, I'm gonna go do drugs. Let's go do drugs, everybody. Nah, not for you. Clean and sober, remember? Well, sure. as close as can be. Carly, what the fuck are you talking about? Oh, you fucking know what, Alex. You think you're so much better than us? Always have. Just because you've gone through some shit, just because you had, I don't know, struggles? That's enough, Carly. Carly, why the fuck are you even here? Why did you even come? You clearly don't want to see me. You know what, Alex? I came for Gavin. For fucking Gavin. And you know... Carly, shut the fuck up. <sighs> Ignore her, Alex. She's drunk. No. You know what? The last time this played out, I never got to say my fucking piece. And I'm done. I'm fucking done taking people's shit this time. I'm on my way to see Kat. Remember her? The girl you fucking ostracized, Carly? And we're going to chill on a fucking island and find pottery and meet Lily fucking Cassell. And your shit heel douche canoe behavior will douche be canoe. fucked down well on your birthday. Not again. Oh, well done. Oh, okay, ladies. I'm gonna go head over here now. Well, come on then, Alex. Tell me how it is. Tell me how you really feel. I think I just did. I called you a douche canoe. That's years, what do you need? You're still not over Gavin. That's fucked, Carly. Move on. Open your eyes. Jesus Christ. Alex, don't go down this road. Oh, we're gonna go down this road. Alex, she seems like a bitch. Seriously. I would do this exact Walk the away. same thing. I'll talk to Carly. Just come back later. Fuck you both. Hey. Listen, I'll talk to Carly. I'll get her to leave. It's your party, and you don't deserve this. But could you do me a favor? Fine. Sure. Whatever. Put this somewhere safe. It keeps falling out of my purse. What is it? An inhaler! Sophia's inhaler. She asked me to look after it. Uh, can I put it in the purse? All right, I don't want to put it in the purse then. That's fine. Um, I don't want to talk to these people. They're not meant to be here. Isaiah likes being in. I don't want to talk. I don't want 
Hey, Sophia. You okay? Yeah, I'm fine. All right, well, let's go ahead and I guess we'll head out the door out of this crazy party if it doesn't make any sense. so fucking sick. Oh, my chest is so tight again. Um. The music stopped. All right, well, let's go back in there. Bye! Fuck? Okay. everybody go? There's bags. I won't go rooting through someone's luggage without good reason. All right, well, it looks like there's blood under this party hat. Why not? It's a party hat. I remember Gavin made me wear one at the party. I was wearing it when... Uh... Can I put it on? I can't put it on? Nah. All right. Sure. Why not? What am I going to do? Take the green balloon? All right. I've got a green balloon and a party hat. Should I, I take the lantern? No need to carry a lantern around. Well, the lights keep going off, I so... I won't go... A huge bag. A huge... Okay, so... I'd freeze to death. Um... Nah. Okay, so I can't really combine... I, I wanted to create a party, apparently. Um... Can I use the steak knife? I don't want to pop it. Okay. Well, at least they. Okay. A steak knife. Nah. Hmm. All right. Well, let's see what's going on here. I've got a balloon. Huh? That sounds like my old ringtone. I think it's coming from the other carriage. Alright, well, let's go back to my room, then, since I seem to not be able to get into 2C. Oh, someone answered that bloody phone. That's driving me a distraction over here. Sorry. Sorry. Didn't he just disappear? I think the ringing's coming from in here. Well, then, go in... Wasn't that your room? Alright, where is it? Ah, uh, here we go. There's a phone stuck in the crack. This is my old cell phone. The one I got rid of a few weeks ago. Oh, that's creepy. It's ringing. Withheld number. Oh, God, not again. Hello? Hello, little porcelain girl. Oh. Oh, God, okay, that's oh, creepy. No. Don't you dare hang up. Don't you fucking dare. I can see you right now, you know. I doubt that. I'm on... A train. Cabin 1C. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. How are you here? That's creepy. I'm always watching you, little porcelain girl. Always. Can't miss a chance to see those titties or maybe your I am going to find you, and I am going to cut your cock off and <laughs> okay. your throat, you disgusting excuse for a human being. That is, that I'm is, okay. In the mirror as you choke on your own dick, and then I'll slice your fucking throat if you ever, ever call me again. Ever. That's really violent. I will find out who you are, and you will die. Well, okay then. And here I was about to invite you over to my compartment to party, you know, 1A, if you got the balls for it. Okay, well, that's creepy. <sighs> this guy, this fucking guy. Oh, God, okay, that scared oh, me a little bit. <laughs> Jesus. Sorry, lass, I should have knocked. No, no, it's fine. I'm just a bit jumpy. Well, I'm jumpy too. I, uh, held you through the door. Nuisance calls, is it? Yeah, dude's been calling me for the past few months. Pretty sure my ex put him up to it. It's been happening since we broke up. Ah, surely it wouldn't do a thing like that. Well, I don't know. It makes no sense. Gavin wasn't, isn't like that, I thought. And he denies it. But it's too much of a coincidence, right? Hmm. Right? Maybe. Could be anyone, though, really. Old Don believes in coincidence. Well, good old Don. Still, at least you're well away and safe on old Claudia, eh? No. He said he's here. He said he's on the fucking train. Well, that can't be. Unless your boy's a big English fellow with a stick up his ass. <laughs> 
Uh, no, no, it's not Lang. Well then. <laughs> I mean, I suppose it could be Lydia. What did you just say? Oh, I was kidding. I don't really think my harasser is an eight-year-old girl. You've seen young Lydia tonight. Yeah. Why wasn't I meant to disturb her? Is she like a ghost? Oh, um, no, it's fine. I just, uh, I'll look out for her, you know. Where did you see her? In the next carriage. In her compartment. Oh. Well, right you are, then. I should just go and check on her. See if she needs anything. Wait. The guy told me to meet him in 1A. Well, there's no one in 1A. I think I'd have noticed. Well, bye. Alright, so something weird's going on in this train. This is a strange, strange train. Don't lose it at this juncture. Nothing unexpected is happening. You know what to do. Roll with it. See it through. It's okay. Maybe it's a little more intense than you were expecting. A little more real. But you can do this. Sure. It'll be worth it. Just keep talking to yourself. Nothing comes for free. I guess I should head to 1A. No point putting it off. Yeah, because that's usually what I would do. Oh, broken cell phone. It's broken. All right, well, I, I knew there was something on the ground there. I just didn't know if it was the cell phone that she dropped or something. Well, let's go to 1A. Oh, boy, I don't know what the hell's going to happen now, but... Well... Hey, Alex. Oh, you creepy, Remember creepy bastard. Caller? You mean Gavin? It's not Gavin, Rob. We've been over this. You know what I mean. It is doing. It has to be. So you've said. Many times. He told me to come here. Oh no, he's trying to fuck with both of us. Great. I don't think you have anything to worry about, Rob. Um. He's got pictures of her all over the wall. Why? Just, you know, everything that's been going on with you. Gavin, your father, the stalker. I think Rob's the stalker. I care about you a lot, Alex. I've told you about my daughter, right? Yeah. Yeah, you have. You remind me of her, you know? Yeah, I know. I'm sorry, Rob. Missing. Disappeared. Hmm. I never did find out who took her. If she's still alive. I know. I know. It must be terrible. My dad... My real dad, I mean. He walked out on my mom when I was six months old. She never found out what happened to him. Keith raised me like his own. He loved me like a daughter. I called him dad. But I always wondered, you know? And now Keith's gone too. <laughs> Look at us. We're right there, aren't we? Yeah. Yeah, we are. <laughs> I'm so worried, Alex. When I was in your apartment earlier, and and you were just lying there on the couch, it All right. didn't look like you were breathing. All right, thought, that's kind of creepy. I thought I'd lost you. No, I was. Wait, wait, what? No, but it's making me say things I don't want to say. Uh -huh. What? Oh, what is... what's happening? A the doll? Worm. The worm inside my head, growing oh, okay. away inside my brain, wriggling like a grub. All right. Rob, stop it. Listen, focus. Why were you in my apartment? I came in. I came in and uh, watched you sleep. All right. No, no that's creepy. Uh, that's I not... watched you sleep. I just watched. I didn't do anything. I always just watch. I watch over you. I can't let them harm you. None of those filthy fucking men. Not Gavin, not Lang, not any of them. I know what they want from girls like you. You're my little porcelain doll, Alex. Oh, right. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. No. Oh, Rob. No. Why? Why? It wasn't me. It was Gavin. He's a no good, dirty boy. He just wants to use you. Wants your body. You have to keep away from him, Alex. Keep All right, that is creepy as shit. Boys. No. I've been watching over you all the time, and now the worm wants to eat my eyes. Stop me watching. They're trying to take my porcelain doll away from me, and I won't let them. Oh, this is the Rob, creepiest fucking game I've played in a long time. Is that what you're saying? 
If it hadn't been me, it would have been someone else. Someone actually intent on doing you harm. I've scared you away from those dirty boys, haven't I? I've kept you safe. I've shown you how vulnerable you are. Ah, that's creepy. All kinds of fucked up. All fucking kinds. I trusted you, Rob. I let you in. I had... Uh, I had no idea. Look, they're getting to you. They're trying to take you away from me. Who is? You're not making any fucking sense. Who's taking me away from you? The dead that sleep beneath the earth. The court of the charnel house king. All right. The worms eat the flesh, the birds eat the worms, the augurs watch the birds, the cycle of carrion rots its way towards infinity. Um. Now, stay here with me, where it's safe. Okay. Don't you fucking touch my daughter, you tainted Jezebel. Ah, oh, that's creepy. Oh, boy. I don't even want to look at these any longer. Um. I'd rather not jump out the window unless I have to. Well. Rob, please let me pass. Please. We can forget this ever happened. I think I'm going to have to stab anyone. Rob. Tell anyone, Rob. That tried to protect you. Why would anyone judge me for that? Rob, you need help. You need to talk to someone. I'll help you. I'm serious. No. I have to keep you safe. You're not going anywhere. All right. Well, it looks like the only thing that I can really do is... I suppose I... Wait, if I... Can I put, like, a party hat on the porcelain doll? Okay, well, I thought maybe, like, I could, like, appease him by making him giggle. But it looks like I'm gonna have to stab him. Yep. I'll stab you. Let me through, or I'll cut you. I swear to God. No, you won't. Don't fucking try me, Robert. You only call me Robert when you're upset. <laughs> oh, yeah, well, um... Yeah, yeah I was gonna I say, I'm fucking upset. upset. I am upset at what you've done to me, at what you've made me endure. And why? To protect me? That's creepy. You'd seen. That's creepy. I've seen. You'd know why, Alex. You'd know. Then tell me. Tell me what you've seen. No! I have to protect you. All right, well, now the knife is... I kill for a cigarette right now. That is the weirdest thing to probably think about when you're basically... If I try and go for the knife, Rob will be on me in a second. All right, so basically we're at a point now where I'm going to have to try to get past Rob... <laughs> Who is apparently my stalker. Sure, why not? Anyway, though, we're going to go ahead and call it here because it went a little bit over where I thought it'd be. But this is the Charnel House Trilogy. Next part should be the last part unless I have a lot of problems trying to get past Rob. But anyway, uh, remember to hit that like button, comment, and of course subscribe. And of course, I will see you guys in another video. Remember, are you gaming? You should be. Bye-bye! Hey guys, if you like that video, click in the upper left to subscribe and then check out Dead Island. So you're kicking the door. <laughs> and also check us out on Google Plus and Twitter for all the new updates for the channel and then check out Don't Star. Can't carry any more stuff. Oh no.